I think it's, it's like Jimbo Fisher said earlier today. You've played in big games before. They've been on the road. He says you don't really get phased. What allows you to stay so calm, or at least give the appearance that you're calm in what's been some really hairy environments? I think, you know, after the first, you know, the first play, first, maybe the first two plays, the whole really crowd goes out the window. Other than, you know, you have to talk a little louder. And, but honestly, you, you really stop paying attention to it. Now, in a place like the Swamp, um, what do you think maybe makes that similar to, or different compared to somewhere like Clemson where it was just insanely loud all the time and there never was really a respite from it? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining that it's going to be kind of the same way this weekend. Obviously, it would be a night game, and uh, I think this you know, this time, uh, you know, how do I put this? You know, we're both a lot better than we were. 2013, obviously, we were great. You know, the day where I don't remember what you guys remember what the record was. It wasn't four. And, it wasn't as big, obviously them being ten and one and us nine and two. I'm, I mean, I'm picturing it. You know, it's going to be just as loud, or if not louder. How much so, did you know about this rivalry <clears throat> growing up in New Jersey? I mean, I knew about it. Obviously, you know, I, I didn't have any implications to it at all. But I, I mean, I knew about it. Sean, there's a there's a line in a movie where one two friends, one friend kind of does the other one wrong. It's from Jersey Boys. And the narrator says, if you can't figure out why this guy stayed loyal to this friend, this is wrong that you're not from Jersey. You've stayed loyal to this program. How far back in your roots, both with the family and then where you came from, has this uh, loyalty, this you know, being a stand-up guy, uh, um, where does I'm, that come from? I don't know. I give all credit to my father, I guess, and my parents and my mother. So my dad, uh, you know, I guess raised me pretty well. But is the environment... It is, it is a part of your environment, is a part of what, you know, you're made from just from living in that area. Yeah, I mean, I just... Contribute to it. Yeah, I just think, honestly, it was, you know, both my parents being, you know, great people. My dad being retired, was, he was a state trooper my whole life. He was very strict on me and, you know, taught me very great life life lessons. So I credit I credit them. Did you ever come close to leaving here? Uh, no, sir. Very close to mine. I mean, obviously, I, I mean, things run in your head, but I was never actually, I mean, never, never really thought about it, never reached out to coaches, never, I had high school coaches after our, I lost the battle to the Golson in the uh, summer, and my high school coach reached out to me, and it's like, you know, I was like, no, so. When you envision yourself as a starting quarterback here, I mean, do you ever think about, you know, what it's going to be like to play in this game, play in that stadium, have a, you know, a part in this rivalry? Yeah, I mean, this is what you I mean, this is everything you dream of, obviously. You know, Florida, Florida State, you know, postseason, you know. This is big. I mean, this is everything you dream of, and I, I can't wait. You actually played a little bit in the game last time you guys were down there, right? Yeah, I remember. I had one or two series, you know, it was a couple, just a couple handoffs. So. What were your impressions? Obviously, the game yeah. was over at that point. What were your impressions just from the scene and the atmosphere? It was pretty cool, obviously, being, you know, it was pretty cool being able to play in there in the swamp. It was, I mean, it was awesome. What's the first thing that jumps out at you about their defense? Uh, I think overall their defense is uh, kind of like our defense. They got great D linemen, good linebackers, and obviously they got some pretty good DBs as well. So I think, honestly, it's nice being able to go against our defense because I think it's very similar. How have you seen this offense evolve? Because, I mean, I know there are times you're in the frame out of it, but, again, the road's kind of been a place where the offense has struggled. But where have you seen improvement maybe since the Clemson game where – Things look a little bit different, feel a little bit different. Uh, I think it's just, you know, people maybe playing a little more full speed, kind of just running around, you know. Uh, Clemson and, you know, Clemson game, I think, you know, everyone, you know, had good intentions and, you know, played their heart out. But there was a little things, you know, that didn't click, that have been clicking the past few weeks, whether it was just, you know, a block here or there, a read by myself, or, you know, receivers being in the right spot. So I think that's something, you know, that we've been rolling and we got to keep that going, going with, forward. With a group this young, I mean, is it – hard or easy for everyone to keep that patience and knowing like okay it takes time to get to this point or was there ever really a moment where you all kind of felt frustrated like look it's game nine game whatever in the season we should have this by now yeah I mean it, yeah, I, th I think we do right now so I think obviously you know that even though the guys are young I mean I'm I'm young as far as playing wise goes so I kind of you know felt the same way but I think we've been rolling do you feel like your team is embracing the role of spoiler because uh, the Gators have a chance to win the SEC, go to the playoffs. Of course, of, I mean, of course, of course, everyone's thinking that, but you know, that, I mean, of course, yeah. <laughs> Sean, very 
State's very underrated place for quarterbacks. Theisman, Jim Kelly, Vinny Testaverde. If I few that I'm missing there, I think. Uh, I think there's anything to that. Why do you think so many great quarterbacks have come at it? New Jersey. Uh, Pennsylvania's got the Yeah, rap. Pennsylvania, you know, of course. Like uh, I don't know. I think, I don't know, maybe it has to do with playing in cold weather, you know, being tough playing. So maybe they all have, you know, the same type. I don't know. I mean, We're, I'm not sure. And, Coach Finnegan, what role did he play in your development? What, what, what can you look back on and, and, and credit him for? The most? Uh, I think everything. I mean, he he took me under his wing right when I stepped foot on that campus as a freshman. I wasn't really, I was expecting, you know, I was going into high school worrying if I was going to be the quarterback of the freshman high school high school team, and he brought me up to varsity. I mean, I played JV my freshman year, but got got the experience of uh, sitting in varsity and, you know, traveling all the games and playing in some fourth quarters. And, you know, he really just... You know, he, he he set everything up for me. You know, he had all the confidence in the world in me, and he was a great he was a great figure. Did something he preached, one thing he preached, you get resonate with you? Uh, I think he was, you know, he was just a great guy, and I think that's you know he represented our school very well, and you know my school has a lot of respect in New Jersey, and I think just you know his all the lessons he taught outside of football was like I think credit to myself today a lot. Sean, Sean, do you feel like maybe for the first time that you know, you're getting out there, and obviously you know you have stuff to go out and perform, but you, you're not looking over your shoulder, you're not competing the same way you have been with another guy. Is, is that a different thing for you? Yeah, it's a little different, but uh, it is a little different, you know. But it, it, it is still, it is still competition, you know. You can't really go out there and slouch just because you're, you know, the starting quarterback now, because that's not. That's, that's how bad things happen. <laughs> but, but, but does it does it help you and your confidence knowing that you know, barring injury or something really weird, that you know you've you've kind of done what you needed to do? It's nice, you know, confidence-wise. Obviously, I could just go out and obviously play and you know get better rapport with our receivers and the running backs. So it's nice. Sean, you know, Florida's obviously a defense that's very opportunistic, likes to set up short fields for that offense, especially when they're kind of struggling. How important is it for you guys this week? To you know, make sure that you're taking care of the ball and everything's in place there. Of course, I mean, playing a defense like that, you, you know, you got to limit turnovers. You got to have long drives, win the field position battle. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna make some plays on on defense, but we're just gonna have to, you know, keep rolling and and really and really take care of the football and move the chains. What sort of things do you guys do to emphasize protecting the football against such a ball hawking defense? Just making smart plays. You know, not making smart plays. Maybe a you know, a throw where you know, oh, I could, you know, I could fit it in there, you know, but, you know, that one's open underneath, some, some stuff like that. One thing Marquez was saying was he noticed that with Jalen, there was like a, a, a heightened sense of intensity. If you noticed that, what would you say are the things that stood out to you about him? As far as Jalen, is yeah. that what you're talking about? I mean, I don't know. Jalen's just the best, you know, practice player that I that I've been around in the past three years here. He just comes out every day. With some, with an intensity that, you know, that's he's you know, he's just got a lot of intensity to him to his game. I mean, every about everything, no matter what period we're in, whether it's team run or seven on seven. I mean, he. Did. So when you talk One about more. that, well, I was when you talk about that intensity, is it vocal with something he says? Is it more just the way he does things? I mean, how would you describe he, he, it? He talks and he's vocal, but I think the biggest way that he is a leader is just being able to watch him. Like I love watching him practice, and just it, it's really just. I mean, he's a great example for young guys how to practice. I mean, he just brings it, whether it's you know pre, like warm ups or whether you know they're doing one on one drills. He he doesn't want to lose, and I think that's pretty awesome. Do you kind of think to yourself sometimes that you know if I can make this throw on Jalen in practice, I can make it on Hargraves? Oh yeah, I like yeah I like to go throw at Jalen in practice. You know, it's it's fun when you complete a ball on him because then he starts crying. <laughs> All right. Wow.